In Finland, the strength of the euro has taken many companies by surprise. One of them is Wetzila, a manufacturer of engines and power systems to the shipping industry, located 400 kilometers north of Helsinki. A Wärtsilä diesel engine powers one in every three ships in the world. The company's annual turnover is over 3 billion euros. 75% of its output is exported to countries outside the eurozone, making its products pricier now. That affects our competitiveness considerably. At the moment the situation is under control, but things could get more difficult in the future. Wärtsilä is relying on its technical expertise and innovative edge. But should the euro remain so high, the company's sales are bound to fall. And Wärtsilä isn't alone. Finland's economy is largely driven by exports. And businesses there have just one wish for 2008. That the euro doesn't climb any higher. Munich in southern Germany is one of the country's wealthiest cities. Some businesses here are profiting from the euro strength. Like car dealer Karl Geiger, for example. He imports vehicles from the US. Thanks to the weak dollar and the strong euro, he's paying 10% less for cars now than he was a year ago. The dollar exchange rate is the best thing that could happen to us. If everything were in euros, I wouldn't see any profits. There wouldn't be any. Each year, Geiger and his employees sell some 500 vehicles. His clients are happy with the low prices he can offer now. Geiger even converts these gas guzzlers to run on natural gas at no additional cost. Our ad campaign ran in newspapers and on the radio in Munich. It's called the Geiger Thrift Package. We offer an environmental package with natural gas and give such high rebates that the car's new fuel system comes for free. Geiger hopes the euro will stay just as strong in 2008. The high euro is making American tourists think twice about traveling to Europe. Travelers from the US, like Felix and Angie Guzman, are having to dig deeper in their pockets to pay for their Paris vacation. Luckily, I can afford this, but most people cannot. And, and I don't think most people would travel here now versus going to the Caribbean. That's posing a challenge for the French capital's tourism industry. They've started an ad campaign and invited international tour operators to convince them Paris is the place to be. That's because the number of American visitors has fallen since June and those who do come spend less money. They are paying more attention to the expenses, but so far it's, uh, the situation is good. Of course, if the situation, if the euro goes on growing up, uh, it may, be, may represent a, a source of a worry for the, for the professionals, for the operators. The Guzmans served the net for a long time to find the best bargains. It's their first time in Paris, and the stunning sights make them forget how much this trip cost. I haven't regretted it at all. The cold weather's killing me, but uh, I will probably come another time of the season. Maybe their next Paris vacation will not...